Well, let me uh, finish up Lesson 30 and then also go into some of the bonus exercises just to uh, do some drilling and some practice translating. Again, the nouns are uh, bakor, which is, means the firstborn. Uh, and then uh, zakar means amel, but notice it's uh, the same root as zakar to remember. I don't think there's any relationship between the two, but uh, there it is. And then uh, related to remember is uh, the verb zakar to remember is zeker, uh, memorial or remembrance. And then zur is a rock or a cliff. Uh, this is often used in the Psalms where it will say that the Lord is my rock, uh, zuri or the like. Um, but don't think of rock as you know something you can throw. Think of it more like a boulder or even a mountainside, uh, like the rock at Gibraltar, uh, more than just an ordinary rock. <clears throat> so anyway, that's uh, the nouns. Uh, the exercises are fil fairly self-evident, so I'm not going to go over that. I'll have you practice using forms in the uh, perfect, uh, in, in the hyphial. And then uh, you'll also translate uh, some sentences in the English uh, many of which will actually be um, ones that are from the Bible. At least uh, three of them, three out of the ten, th four out of the eleven are uh, from the Bible. I think for the rest of our time, I will go rather to uh, the exercises in Clements that uh, give you bonus uh, work in uh, uh, forms. And again, what we're wanting to do is to learn to recognize forms in the hyphial and distinguish them from uh, any other forms that might occur. So let's uh, look at uh, uh, 30.1. Uh, you start out with the form magdilav. You have a prefix mem. The root looks like it's gadal, to be great. And so the hif it has a mem with a pata. That pata was originally a hay with a pata, and then the mem would have had a shava. Uh, so that would be a hifio participle, and the av ending uh, indicates that the uh, the participle is a masculine plural participle with a third masculine singular suffix, and so it would mean the ones. Uh, making or causing him to be great, or the ones magnifying him. Number two, you have uh, hik tarta, and you have uh, katar, which means to burn. You have a preformative hay with a hiric under it, so that is an indication of a hyphial. Then you have a tav at the end with a kamatz under it. That's the second masculine singular ending in the perfect. So you would translate it, you cause someone or something to burn. And then number three, you have a vayav tach, <clears throat> vayatav. <clears throat> That's clearly a vav consecutive followed by a imperfect. The imperfect has a pata under the first consonant, uh, and that's what you would tend to get in uh, hyphial forms. Uh, the root is uh, bata, which means to trust. So it would mean, and he caused someone or something to trust. Number four, Hastirenu. Here you have a hay with a pata under it. And so that looks like it would be uh, possibly a hyphial imperative. And then the anu at the end would be a object suffix, uh, first common plural. And uh, and it would be a command, hide us, hide us. 
speaking to a male individual, hide us. Alternatively, uh, hastir could be uh, seen as a infinitive construct with a first common singular suffix on it, and that would mean something like are hiding. Number five, naskira has a prefix noon, first of all, it has zakar to remember. With a prefix noon, a suffix kamats he, that would make that a first common plural coordinative, let us remember, or let us, more literally, let us cause to remember, let us mention. Number six, yarkivuhu. The root is rakav, which means to ride. It has a prefix yod, which su suggests that it is a imperfect with a pata and a hiric yod in the middle. It's a hyphial imperfect third masculine plural with a third masculine singular suffix, the who at the end, and so it would mean they will cause him to ride. They will cause him to ride. Number seven, nimsa has a prefix noon, has a kamats he at the end, and it turns out that this one is a little bit ambiguous. If you take the verb as a cow, it would be a cow coordinative first common plural. Matsa is defined, and so nimsa uh, would be let us find. But then there is an alternative interpretation, nimsa. Uh. The noon could be the noon of the nifal. <clears throat> And the kamatshe, the, uh, the nifal perfect third feminine singular, which would mean she was found or she found herself. Number, <clears throat> number eight, uh, hisgarti is from sagar to close or shut. Uh, the hay in the front is the hifial perfect uh, the, with a hiric under it. Um, and then the T ending is first common singular. I shut up something. I closed something. And then uh, uh, Hal Vishum. <clears throat> that will be a uh, pata under the hay and a hiric yod in the middle. Both are indications of hifial. A hifial imperative, second uh, masculine plural. Uh, clothe them uh, from lavash to put on clothes. Now for the rest of our time I'd like to go on to do some of the basic translations again to give you an idea of how hifials work. So uh, 30.2 in Clemens uh, number one. Akdil shem b'hakri tam abam Li et zivchehem. First form is from uh, Kadash to be holy, has a pata under the preformative aleph, a hiric yod in the middle, that's an indication that it's a uh, hyphial imperfect. I will increase the holiness of, I will cause to be holy. Hence, I will sanctify, and then the aim is an object suffix, them, masculine plural. I will sanctify them, uh, ba, in, and then you have a uh, hak, re, which is, in this context, must be a hyphial infinitive construct, uh, with am ending is a, uh, a suffix, uh, a third uh, masculine plural. I will sanctify them in their drawing near, in their causing themselves to draw near, in their drawing near. So I will sanctify them in their drawing near, Lee, to me, 
uh, and drawing, causing what to draw near in their drawing near or bringing to me et uh, uh, zivche uh, hem, that's from zeva sacrifice, in their bringing to me their sacrifices. So I will sanctify them in their bringing to me their sacrifices. Number two. Hashlek tashliku et ha herev me al hazur. It begins with a hashlek, which has to be a hifio form with the prefix he. Uh, and uh, as it turns out, that the main verb is going to be uh, hashliku, which is a hifio imperfect second masculine plural from shalak, which in the hifiol means to throw or to cast. Um, and so with the infinitive, this is going to be an infinitive absolute in front of the verb. Uh, and it will mean you will surely uh, cast, and then object marker et, uh, haherev the sword, me'al uh, from upon hazur, the cliff or the, the rock. Uh, you will surely uh, cast away the sword from upon the cliff. Number three. Lo uh, hishabati et na'areka me ha me laka. So it begins with lo, which is not. Hishbati, uh, the root is actually Shabbat, to rest. And uh, you add the T, first common singular perfect ending to that, uh, with a prefix He, which would be make it Hifiel. Hifiel perfect, first common singular. Shabbat is to rest. The Hifiel would be to cause to rest. Uh, do not cause, uh, uh, I did not cause to rest. Uh, uh, and then et, uh, Na'areka would be uh, your young men, uh, could mean your slaves. Uh, me ha, uh, me laka, uh, me is work, and then uh, from your work. I did not uh, cause your young men to cease from work, from the work. The sense of that is probably something like, I did not uh, order your slaves to stop working, if you wanted to really smooth it out. But more literally, I did not cause your uh, young men or, 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 or slaves uh, to rest uh, from the work. Number four, vai yashamidu kol zakar. Uh, lo uh, hish uh, iru gam ahad. Uh, it starts with a vav consecutive, and then a verb uh, in the uh, imperfect, uh, hifial imperfect. Note the hiric yod of the imperfect, the pata under the uh, preformative uh, for the uh, hifial imperfect. Uh, and they destroyed uh, kol zakar, every male. Uh, and then you get get some sort of punctuation here, period. Uh, lo uh, hishiru, sha'ar means to remain. Uh, hishiru would mean they did not cause to remain or they did not allow to remain. Gam echad, even one. And then number five, uh, yagil uh, et uh, avdo begins with a hifiel imperfect. Uh, he will magnify his servant. And then it continues with a vav uh, consecutive uh, with uh, uh, his kir, and he will uh, cause to be remembered uh, et shem uh, bakoro. Uh, and he will uh, make mention of or cause to be remembered the name of his firstborn. He will uh, magnify his servant and he will 
cause the name of his firstborn to be remembered. That's all we have time.